Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and welcome to my new home base. Uh, it's the first big major build I've done on the cluster. The one that I've joined with Good Game Fizz, J Plays Games, TLC138 for Sonys. There's a whole bunch of other people on there, they've all got their own companies now, scattered around the map. Uh, they're all making content for their channels on this cluster now. So yeah, if you want to check out what's going on in the rest of the world, go and you know, have a look at their channels, see what they're doing. I'll put links in the description for you. Okay, I call this place the, the Pinnacle, simply because it is the pinnacle of Atlas Castle architecture. Oh, so I've decided. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just high up and it's got pointy bits, so yeah, Pinnacle sounded like a good name for it. But yeah, it's kind of a stress test really. I just wanted to see how big and how far I could take a build before sort of FPS and lag kicked in, you know. And it seems pretty cool. I'm not having major problems, you know. Maybe if you've got like, you know, 50 60 of your company running around this place it might get a little dodgy there's still a lot that needs doing with it but um you can sort of see the, the scale of the place when i stood next to the walls then and this is like the biggest door you can get and that's like surrounded by the whole gatehouse and then you've got the outer walls and like the keep in the center i just wanted to show you this as well what i built here when you open the doors it sort of recesses into the gatehouse itself it's that looked really cool and it is, a, like I said, it's a huge build. But there's still quite a lot I need to do to it. Um, but see, that, this, the main keep in the centre there, that had like another tower on top of it and a, and a smaller one, but I hit the build limit. I got to about 16,000 something over the 15,750 that the limit was. So I had to rip out, basically take them towers down so I could get some um, production benches and things in. All inside there had different layers and staircases everywhere. But what I did, I ripped all that out and put these lift systems in. And then hired a crew member and just, yeah, you can just sort of like make him use the lever. So it's just like having an electric lift. You don't need the power and everything. You just click on it and he takes you up. Just got to keep the guy fed and paid. And another good thing about that, the, the staircases look really good. You know, the way they were designed and built up for everything. But 
once you've got like them lift systems in, especially in the big, the big thick towers that have got at the back, it just gives you so much more room, you know, to fit things in. Um, the the overall look of the place, I don't know, but it's sort of Mediterranean kind of look. I was thinking of like Dawn or something, you know, like Game of Thrones, had that sort of feel to it. GG Fizz and a guy called Dwizzy are like the technical guys for the cluster. They've been brilliant, you know, programming things and getting it all up and running, keeping it all, all up and running. Uh, so Fizz is going to look into upping the build limit for us so I can sort of carry on the build and, and get it looking exactly how I want it. See, everything's a little sparse at the moment. I've just got in like the essentials. This had a massive staircase going through it. There's, I put a bunch of screenshots at the end of like the construction of the place and stuff. And you can sort of see what it looked like before I had to sort of tear some of it down. But it worked out well, that, like, because it made me change the design a little bit. Um, and I really like it now. This is sort of the main structure at the back of the build. And this sort of houses and things built on top of this. And like, um, like a bit of a courtyard and stuff in the centre. With um, like a balcony overlooking it where the like, captain or whoever's in charge of the place can sit. I'm pretty happy how the design of the place sort of, you know, came together. There's a lot of like really tight corridors, multiple levels, there's just the place is massive. Once you sort of get running around and going up and down a few staircases, it's not too difficult to get lost when you're inside. Um, but th that could be an advantage, especially if you're building something this big on your server and, you know, it's a PvP server. And uh, it's just, just, you know, with it being so big, and there's so many different areas you can just sort of wall off whole sections inside the walls or you know underneath this place and you can just fill it full of beds and you know boxes full of ammunition and weapons and stuff and if you're getting raided and you're getting killed off you can just like have everybody respawn in one spot demo a wall and just pour out and slaughter others in there uh, i thought that'd be pretty cool have like little hiding places everywhere i'm just gonna go and have a look at off one of the main walls here. You see how high up you are, no above the sea. I don't think any ship can get a decent angle with cannons up here, so you're pretty safe. If anyone's coming, they're gonna have to climb up here. There's like a, a, a tower of stone sort of sticking out just over the beach and there's like a stone bridge between it. So it's all built on top of that. You sort of see it at the beginning when I, when I was sort of panning around the place, having a look. And this is one of the lift systems I put inside the towers. So each level's got loads more room because I had stairways going through all this, like I said before. And I kept it with that sort of, some authentic parts of, you know, what a castle would have. With the towers and everything, like my little build that I did and I was talking about having the overlapping fields of fire. And having the towers sort of built out from the main wall so you, you've got like a clear view down. Both sides of the, the castle really, you know, if you're in one of these towers. What I did on the main keep there is I built it high enough so that the the small sort of buttresses that are, that are out at the side look like they're sort of holding the place up. I put like little cutouts in them and put some crew members on puckle guns. So they're sort of overlooking the main wall. So if anybody did scale the walls, they've got the NPCs sort of waiting to shoot down onto them as, as they're climbing over. And they can sort of cover the whole base from there. I mean, there's, there's so much room in this place, you, I don't think you'd ever really fill it. Even if you had a massive company. So it was just like a, a stress test more than anything. I just wanted to see how big I could build, what I could create. I'll get onto some more practical stuff soon, I think. But yeah, you can see them cutouts in the little towers there. And the little, um, little pirates on the guns. And they're sort of overlooking the tops of all the main walls. I'm not actually in a company myself at the moment. I've just got my home island and a place to build. Uh, there's another dude who lives on the island somewhere, but I've not seen him yet. He's part of uh, Fasonis' company, I think. He's got a base on here. He's building a trading post and some other stuff. But what I'm going to mainly focus on is like the building, as always, just because that's like the core of my channel. But something else we've been talking about was doing like PvP events. So what I was going to do is like go out into the PvP area build some castles not anything this elaborate but you know some decent like little places to go and attack uh, i can hire a load of npc crews train them up a bit and get them on guns and stuff and then the other companies can sort of go out and you know basically assault the castle take out the npc guards and we're going to put like a load of treasure in there or something you know give them an incentive to go out there and go and raid it 
but I thought I'd be pretty fun for some videos. Also, my other idea was to, I'm going to build a few big ships and have them as treasure ships. Put a load of loot inside them, again, fill it with NPC crews, tons of guns. I'm going to find like some coordinates in the PvP zone to enter it. And then I'm just going to make a mad dash for the other side and try and find a safe port. If someone can stop me or one of the companies can come and sort of take the ship over. And yeah, they, they get a chance to sort of raid a, a loot ship every now and again as it goes through the PvP area. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. And my other idea was to build um, a couple of small castles, put my flag down in the PvP area and you can sort of remove the flag or put your own down. But you need to remove that one first, don't you? So I was thinking I could like build a place like this, like an FPS arena. Um, you're not allowed to bring cannons and, and ships and stuff. Bring your ships to the port, you know, so you've got somewhere to respawn. But once you go into the into the base, it's just purely guns and melee weapons. And whoever gets to replace the flag with their own sort of wins and we'll, we'll have prizes for that as well. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to like, run some events and do that you know instead of like being in the company i just haven't got the time to sort of farm and, and put all the effort in that it takes to really you know build the company up properly and then it won't be fair to just sort of jump into someone else's company and uh, use all their weapons and stuff so i'm pretty content just building and doing what i'm doing but yeah here, here's the construction of the place you can see how we got the first lot of foundations out around this sort of little area and then built it up from there and I was just thinking I wanted towers and sections of the wall that look, look more structural. You know, like the, the, the thinner bits look like they're holding the wall up. And then build the big towers overlooking everything. So I see the walls coming together bit by bit. And there was no, like, single plan. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was just building and seeing how it went. With it being so sort of spread out and the walls being quite thin at places, when I came to hit the structure limit, it was dead random. It was like you could you could put a window in one side of a building and then you go around the other side and it said you was way over the structure limit. Um, so it was just like really strange how it happened. Like this section here, I pulled all that down um, and just left the wall sort of flat. But what I wanted to do inside, I wanted more wooden structures and wooden scaffolding and um, the thatch walls and, and doorways and things like that. they look really good it's just like looks like loads of wood sort of um lashed together so i wanted to build like yeah just like catwalks and things going around the out the inside of the castle and i wanted to build like a stables and some other bits and pieces but like i said he's up in the uh, build limit so i can finish the place off and get it looking good this build took me seven days almost and that's probably like anywhere from 8 to 10 12 hours a day I was doing it I've no idea how many how much sort of materials it took or how many walls I've used or anything like that uh, and yeah how to build video would have been just far too long but you sort of getting to see how it how it went together. You probably get some little building tips. And I think I've used virtually every which way you can put the building sections together in this one place. But yeah, if you've got any questions about it or you know how it went together or how I built certain sections, I can have a go at that. Or you can see there where I went over the build limit and the keep in the center. I don't know if you can tell where it is. Um, there's like an extra building on top of that and then two more small towers and it looked really good but like i said i needed to get like production in there and there was other sections of the walls that weren't finished and interiors that weren't finished so that started i had to start sort of scaling it back a little bit because i was wondering if, if you up the build limit on the server and you've got like companies building really big uh would it start to cause like lag on the server and things like that but he said it'll be cool so i'll have a go um i'll come back to the whole building have another run at it and i'll go and get some ships and stuff built so i'll do some videos on that 
Right, I hope you like this place, guys. It, the whole design's a little eccentric, but I think it'd look really cool if there was like a whole bunch of people living in there and it was like really busy all the time. It'd make a great hub, you know, for a server. Just like go and visit this city and do all your trading and stuff. The sound quality on my voice is terrible. My, my mic's playing up. I had to sort of twist it around to get it to work. Wires broke somewhere. Um, other than that, yeah, if you enjoyed the build, guys, go and like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will go and keep on building. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Thank you.